Now, if you've never done garments before, this is a great one to start out on for a summer top. This garment is for any beginner crocheter who can do a chain and a single crochet stitch and work in rows. Because all we are doing for this pattern is making two rectangle shapes or square shapes and then seaming them together that is how easy this is but as you see it's super super cute to wear um so it's really fun to make for the beginner or the advanced crochet if you just want to whip up a really fun beautiful project now today i'm going to be making this in the mary maxim sunrise yarn this is a light dk weight yarn um this feels so soft so it is a micro acrylic it's super, super soft and very drapey. So that's what you want when you're wearing garments. Sometimes you want them to have a lot of flow and drape to them. So this is such a great one for this. Plus it's easy to clean being um, a machine washable yarn. You can wash it on cold and then lay it flat to dry. So for this pattern, you will need yar your yarn of your choice. And I think what I'm gonna do sometimes I just like playing around with this where I've made this before. I know how it's going to work up. I think I'm going to make my base in this color, the sunrise, and then do the top lacy look part in this lighter color. I thought it'd be fun to show a two tone, but it's totally up to you on how you want to use colors. You can do a solid, you could use more than one color, you can do stripes. So you'll need the yarn for this pattern and then grab a stitch marker if you need it to mark the ends of your rows. Sometimes that can be nice. That way we make sure that we're getting the correct stitch count on every single row. Um, a size H or five millimeter crochet hook. These are the dots hooks from We Crochet that I absolutely adore. You can get an entire set for an amazing price and um, they are great quality. Then you'll need scissors to cut your yarn and a tapestry needle to weave in those ends and to do just a little bit of seaming. Don't be afraid of it. It's not a ton of seaming and this is a really fun quick project. So let's get started. So I want to know about the summer top that because of the dimensions and it just being a simple rectangle, it's very easy for us to just go by measurements and change the yarn weight. So you're going to see me make this again with fingering weight yarn. We're just changing the stitch counts to get the width we need across, and then we'll change the row counts to get the rows and just simply go by the measurements and we can substitute this yarn, even though it's a different gauge. So this is one of the simple patterns where we we are able to grab whatever yarn we have, chain whatever amount we need in that even number to have the width that we want for our bodies, and then just go ahead and create in rows with that easy stitch pattern repeat. So this is a really fun and easy pattern to experiment a bit with and see what yarn you have in your stash that might work. So for this, I wanted to show you, I've actually started this project off camera and I've done a lot of the one, one of the panels up until I'm getting to the point that I'm going to add in that lace work. This is called the moss stitch. This is what we are going to be creating. It's simply working a single crochet and a chain one. Um, that's all it is. It kind of looks knit. And one of, one of my favorite stitches because the drape on it is absolutely fantastic. It's a really easy and fun and rewarding stitch to work. So what we will do is we will start by making this part of the base part. And this is where you can hold it up to you kind of underneath your arm and see if you like the length, because this is where the length can be adjusted is on each um, square or rectangle style piece that we're making. So this will be from about your, um, just like really up into your, your underarm down. And then the top part I'm going to be doing in a different color, but same yarn and in a little bit more of a lacy combination of chains. So first things first, we're going to chain the width. We're going to chain the width of this, and then I'm going to show you how to work the moss stitch. And then you're going to you're going to work that and then we'll come back and do the lace part together and then we'll just make another one we're just making two of these so it's awesome so i move this aside and we're going to start by making our very first chain i for this video will be making the size small now this is free on my blog or you can download the pattern that's a paid pdf that's printable without ads and you can see the stitch counts for whatever size you're doing so the same instructions apply it's just we're adjusting for sizing by creating the width a little bit differently per size. We're going to grab our H hook and for this size, for the size adult small, we will start by chaining 93. So what we will do is we will create a slip knot. 
place that slip knot onto our hook. And now we are going to chain 93 chains. So now that I have 93 chains, I'm going to start by tightening down that last chain. And in the second chain from the hook, we'll single crochet. If you want to mark it, feel free to mark it to keep track of the first stitch in the row. I prefer to single crochet across in the bottom humps of the single crochet stitch. You can see like the bottom ridges here because then on the base of it, it leaves a nice look along the bottom of this um, summer top. I'll show you what I mean. Let me grab my other piece here. As you can see, this is my first row and the base of this looks really nice. Looks like a, a knit stitch almost by working the first single crochet row into the back humps only of the stitch. So we're going to single crochet across and that will equal a total of 92 stitches because our last chain was our turning chain. So when we sing, when we single crochet in the check, second chain from the hook and across, we end up having 92 stitches for this row. And now after doing row one of the plain single crochets, we're ready for row two, but row two is the repeat for the remaining of this bottom part of this top. So it's a really nice simple repeat. It's also the moss stitch. So what we will do is we're going to start by chaining one. I like to tighten down my chains. It makes a nicer even edge. And then we'll single crochet into the first stitch. And if you want, you can mark it to keep track of your rows. And then in the next stitch, we will also single crochet, chain one, skip one, then single crochet, chain one, skip one, single crochet, chain one, skip one. And we're going to work that all the way across. So we'll always start our rows by doing the first two stitches of single crochet. And then we'll start it to that chain one, skip one, single crochet for the remaining stitches across. So I'm going to work row two and then I'm going to come back and work row three as a repeat row so you can see how to work into those chain spaces. And now for row three, we're repeating row two, but I just want to show you how to work into those chain spaces when we're doing it that way. So we'll start with the chain one and single crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to single crochet into the next, which is a chain space. So we're going to go right into the hole of that chain space and do a single crochet. Chain one, skip one. You'll be skipping that stitch and working the next stitch into the chain space from the row below. It will always work out that you're chaining and skipping a single crochet stitch and single crocheting into a chain space all the way across. We're just going to repeat this moss stitch until we have the amount of desired rows. The pattern um, has measurements to do about 66 rows for that length that you see in the some of the images. The one I'm making here, I might do a, a few less rows and make it a little bit shorter. I won't say a crop top, but just a little bit shorter. Not rocking the crop top today. So it's um it's a really easy repeat, really relaxing to do. So you're gonna work up. This will be the length from about um you know mid chest, I would say, like just really up under your arms all the way down, and you're gonna work that until you have the height you want, and then we'll go on and do that lace work. Once you have your fabric done to the height that you want, and feel free to adjust the amount of rows you want to make this fit for the height you want of your body before starting this lace work portion. So think of this as like very much underneath your arm or just above your bust all the way down. And once you have the height you want for this, it's time to start the lace work. Now you can do the lace work in the same color. I'm going to be doing my lace work in a little bit of a um, lighter color just for a little bit of a different pop and make it, um, I've made it several times and I kind of like doing this version as well. So I'm going to go ahead on the last stitch of the last row and I'm going to pull through my new color before finishing off that stitch. I have not changed the stitch count and then I'm going to turn my work. And this is where we're going to start doing some chaining. This is very simple lace work. It's really like beginner level waist lace work here. So don't be afraid of it. We're going to go ahead and chain one, two, three. And then we're going to skip, we're counting our first stitch. We're going to skip two and slip stitch into the next. And then we're going to do that all the way across. So one, two, three chains, skip the next two stitches and slip stitch into the next. So one, two, three chains, skip two, slip stitch into the next. 
and we'll continue to do that all the way across this row. Now, when you come to the end of the row, you're going to have some extra stitches left over here from doing this repeat. So we don't have three stitches to, to um, work here. So what we're going to do is we're simply going to do this side by chaining three and then just doing a slip stitch into the very last stitch. So we're maybe not skipping two and that's okay. That's what we're going to do. So now we've slip stitched into our very last stitch of this row and it's time for us to turn our work. Now for the repeat row, this next row is what we will be doing again and again. So this is a really simple repeat. We're going to start by chaining three. And then we're going to slip stitch into the center. So into the, into the center of those three chains that we did on the previous row. So we're just slip stitching into the space that those three chains made. Then we're going to chain three and do that again. Slip stitch into that chain three space. Chain three and slip stitch into that chain three space. We're gonna work this all the way across. Now, as we get to the end of this row, we're simply going to slip stitch into that last chain three space and turn. And then we are just doing a repeat of what we just did. So we'll start by doing a chain three and then slip stitching into this very first chain three space and repeating this row again and again. Now you'll repeat this until you get the height you want here, but remember this is lace work. It's going to stretch quite a bit because especially this bottom portion will pull down. It has a little bit of weight on it. So it's gonna pull these lace stitch stitches open um, from our shoulders as we wear it. So be sure to be conscious of that. I did about five inches for this and you can always just kind of hold it up to yourself and see if you like the height of the lace and where it's sitting. So continue to do that in rows until you get the height you would like for the lace work. So now that we have two rectangles, I did a little bit of blocking on this, but it did kind of, this yarn kind of went right back down instead of staying to an open block. However, I think once we have this done and there's a bit of weight pulling it down, it will still show that nice lacy texture. So we have our two um, pieces here and the next steps are to place them on top of each other. And then we're going to be doing some seaming and weaving in our ends. So what you'll want to do is you'll want to seam up here on the shoulders. Now you can seam as far in or out as you want. This will be a boat neck style. So you can have that as wide or as, as narrow as you would like. Just make sure to do the same amount of seaming on each side for the shoulders. And then you're going to leave an opening for the arms, which is shown on the diagram, depending on which size you are doing. You're going to leave that amount of arm opening and you're going to seam each side from the underarm down to the bottom edge and that's it then you can try this on it's really really easy to take two uh, rectangle style pieces and create a shirt it's it's amazing so do some seaming up here on the shoulders and then from the underarm down on each side and then come on back now when it comes to doing these top seamings i just want to give you a little bit of a tip here because this is such an open work lace style stitch, what we can do is we can kind of keep it in that style by only joining each chain three space together. So I weave over to the top of my chain three space, and then I'm just gonna grab the center chain from across and just whip stitch those together. And what it does is it leaves an open space between these, and that way it kind of continues on with that pattern. And I can just weave on over to the next chain three space here and then i'll simply grab this chain center chain from the chain three space on the opposite side and i can just whip stitch those together and then keep on doing that for as wide as i want this to sit on my shoulder so now I have two new amazing crochet tops to put into my wardrobe, which I'm really excited about, especially as the summer months roll around. Um, I'm digging this fingering weight one. It's super light. The drape is amazing with that Samia yarn. And then we've also got the sunshine yarn over here, which is a DK weight. So the nice thing about this pattern is you can use what you have in your stash, or if you want to use a really nice yarn, I recommend both of these for the excellent drape. For this size, I also went ahead and did a ribbed bottom. That is in the pattern. If you would like to, you can always add an optional um, ribbing along the bottom, but I also liked it without and just plain. You'll see both of those images 
um, that look great. I hope you really enjoy making these tops. If this is your first garment, congratulations, you did it. It is really not that hard. And I promise from here on out, jumping into garments is not as scary as you think, but this is a great beginner one to start with, or if you're advanced, a fun one just to whip up. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and I'll be back with more projects soon.